Hi, I'm Harry Moss for Bugshop.nl and today I'm looking at the StompLab 1G from Vox. This is a modeling guitar effect processor that can be used live in the studio or with headphones. It can be used in front of an amp or into a mixer sound card in mono or in stereo. It features 103 modeling effect variations of which up to 7 can be used simultaneously. It has 120 total programs, of which 100 are preset programs, divided into 10 categories, so every category has 10 presets. And it also has 20 user programs. It features a built-in tuner and it can be powered with batteries or a 9-volt adapter. Okay, let's start with the clean signal. I'm playing on my Yamaha Pacifica 510V today, which has DiMaggio transition pickups. I'm playing straight into my uh, XFX2, which is set to a Fender basement amp, and this is my direct signal, uh, without reverb, without anything on it. So that's the neck pickup, and here's the bridge humbucker. <laughs> I've set the unit, the StompLab 1G, to tuner mode now, so here's the tuning notes. And you get b go back to the StompLab itself, to patch number 2 in this case, uh, by pressing both uh, switches. <laughs> And when you hold the two switches, you go into tuner mode and go out of it like this. But you can also hold both switches to go one second to go into mute mode for, for mute tuning, which is often preferred. So go back to the patch. And I want to first show some presets that are stored in the 100 presets of the StompLab 1G. And then go into how to create your own uh, patches in the user storage. So here's uh, an acoustic patch that's on uh, preset number two. That's in the ballad category, so let's go to the jazz category. And this is preset 11, which is more like a clean preset. With a slight touch of reverb. And let's go to the next one, Pop. That's on 29, which is a bit of a crunch preset. And you can easily switch presets by pressing these buttons. And it will alternate between the 10 presets in the category. So 20 is more like a tremolo preset. which is nice for chords. Okay, to the next category. And what's funny is that uh, the categories remember the position that you use, so it's not starting on 30, but in this case it's starting on 39, which I already tried out. So this is more like a fat blues uh, lead. And let's go to the rock category on 58, which is more like a lead. So pretty realistic sounding. So the next category is hard rock, which is also a lead. <laughs> And this is another lead. This is more heavier. And to go more into the effect category, this is a flanger. Not a heavier. <laughs> and 
in the other section there is also a pitch that I'd like to show. <laughs> Okay, next up I want to show you how I created the two user presets that I used in the intro. The first one sounds like this. So that is a more clean sound with a reverb, a delay and a tremolo. So if I want to change that, the unit now is in program select mode. I have to use the edit button and then this button starts um, it's changed, its function is changed, so you can use it to control the different effect types in the unit, in the preset, sorry. Um, the first one controls the pedal. Um, you can look all this stuff up in the manual, uh, where you can see all the possibilities um, of which pedals, which amps, etc, etc. So now it's set to a pedal um, called Tone, that controls the tone, so it's more like a tone pedal. Um, the value 1 controls the bass or treble of this tone pedal and the value 2 doesn't do anything with this uh, effect type. So to the left it will be darker and to the right it will be brighter. So you can find the balance that you like. When you want to change the pedal type on the first position you can change that with the effect type buttons. So this is UV, which stands for Univibe, so this is how that would sound. And you control the Univibe speed with this knob and the depth with the value 2 knob. And if I want to go back to the original preset, I'm just going to, to the user presets and I can switch it back to how it was before. Yes? Okay, go back to U2 and let's go back to the edit mode and let's go to the next one which is set to C3 which is the amp, that's uh, a cleaner amp. The amps go from C1 to C8 and to C uh, capital 1 to C9 etc etc. So there are different types of amps which we'll go through quickly later. So the next one is controlling the low side of the amp which is the bass and mid. The next one is high that controls the treble and presence. Then we go to CU which is the cap that's set to custom at this time. We can of course change that again with these two knobs. So B2 is um, a basement. Sorry, not a basement. I have to look it up. Here it is. Uh, that's a black 212. That's more like a blackface fender type cabinet. And T3 is a tweed 4 times 10 cabinet. So that will be brighter. So, um, let's go back to, let's see, U1, U5, custom. Okay, there we have it. The next one is uh, the modulation that is set to TR. If you look it up again, that's tremolo. So you control the tremolo speed with this one. So now it starts to quickly uh, tremolo. And when you want to save this, you have to go to this position again, to user position. And you can press both buttons, both effect type buttons, hold them down, and now it's saved. So now I have changed the, the preset to with a quicker tremolo setting. So if I go out of edit mode to this one, and then to U2 again. You hear it's the quicker tremolo. Go back to edit. Let's set the speed a little lower again of the tremolo. And this is the delay that's on. That's on A4, which is analog 4. That's the one with the most repeats, the most feedback. And this is the delay on the next setting, so I can switch that off by pressing both buttons. 
is now on off, so we won't be disturbed by the hall reverb. And this is the delay in A4, so it has the most repeats. This is A1, which is only, which is only one repeat. A2 will increase the repeats. And A3 again more. And A4 again more. This is an echo one with one repeat. Longer repeats. So you have A and E, so analog and echo as the delay options on this unit. So A4, uh, which is nice for this ambient kind of reset. Okay, now let's switch off the delay and go to the reverb again, hall. We control the time of the hall with the value 1. So it's longer. And the mix with the value 2. So this is the maximum hall you can get out of this unit. Which is quite nice. Okay, with the effect type you control the type of reverb, so that's spring. Again, very nice sounding. And this is a room. Which is more uh, to get some more ambience. But not as upfront as the other two. Okay, uh, again, I'm going out of the edit mode. And now I'm having the same preset as I started. So this position is uh, the noise reduction that you can switch on and off. And that one is the global uh, setting, which you use to control um, which device you're connected to. So on this setting it's LN, that's line, so that's for into a mixer. A3 is for a stack uh, amp. This is for more an American Fender type amp that I'm using, so I have it on A2. And A1 is more for British amps. So that's also a nice option, so you can uh, control the, the output you're using. Okay, now go to... Uh, sorry, I have to go up here. And then to U1, that's my user 1 preset, um, which is my lead preset. <laughs> Again, go into the edit mode. Go to the first one, which is set to Co, that's a compressor. So it's, it's having a bit of a compression on. You can switch that off, of course, by double, double using these two together. And on again. Okay, the second is sent to O1, that's uh, overdrive one. You can, of course, change that again. This is 05, which is a lot brighter. And if you go up again, you can go to, for instance, F1, which is the fuzz. D7 is a distortion. Let's see. H, what's that? That's high gain amps. So all sorts of amps there. I like the 01, which is uh, nice and warm sounding. So um, Low again controls bass and mids, and high again controls treble and presence. We can make it more. <laughs> and this is again the cap, which we already covered. And this is set to off, so there are no effects, no modulation effects. I can set it to on. 
that's a rotary. What, what's that? What's it on now? Pitch. And I set the interval with this one. So that's an octave above, for instance. Uh, flanger one probably. Oh no, this this is this is not a flanger. This is a filtron. And another filtron. And a chorus. Multi-chorus. And this is a flanger. And a phaser. Yeah, very nice stuff. Switch it off again. Uh, it's set to E2, this preset, so it's echo with a, with a mild feedback. You can, of course, set it to E4 to have more feedback. And it's set to a spring revert. So there you have it, the Vox Stomp Lab 1G modeling guitar effects processor. That can be used live in the studio or with headphones directly into an amp or into your mixer sound card in mono or in stereo. 103 modeling effect variations of which up to 7 can be used simultaneously. And 120 total programs of which 20 can be used um, as a user storage and a built-in tuner. My name is Harry Maas, I'd like to see you next time.